Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech. We're going to review the Lassie Rugged USB 3 slash Thunderbolt series solid state drive. This is the Rugged series, which means you've got a drive circled with this rubberized coating. This can be removed pretty simply. I'll show you in a moment. Now this is a pretty expensive drive because it's a solid state drive using Thunderbolt. It's about $350. You can find it maybe a little bit cheaper here and there, but that's pretty much the average price. For that, you get the drive along with a Thunderbolt cable, which actually makes it one of the better values for solid state drives. Even though it's very short, it's meant to be portable and kind of sit near your Mac or whatever you're using it with. You also get a USB 3.0 cable. I'm using the Thunderbolt cable, as you can see I have it unwrapped, and you have these two ports on the end. You have Thunderbolt and USB. It's also compat backward compatible with USB 2, but that kind of defeat the purpose. Plug it in like this, we plug it into our Mac on the other end or whatever you're using that's Thunderbolt compatible, and that's pretty much it. Now the drive is protected, there are no spinning or moving parts, and they do make a hard drive variant of this, but it's uh, not going to give you the speeds that a solid state drive is. If I pop this back here, you'll see it's an aluminum enclosure. That's pretty much all there is to it, so you just leave this part on, and that's the drive itself. Now, the reason you use this, or at least I use this, is because I'm using it as my render or scratch disk for my MacBook when I do videos. So I'll render or make a video in Final Cut and use this to store all of the media and do all of the heavy lifting while the solid state drive in my MacBook runs the operating system in Final Cut Pro. So that's pretty much it as far as that goes, but the speeds you get with Thunderbolt are incredible. Now Thunderbolt itself is capable of up to 10 gigabits per second, and I'm getting about 400 megabytes per second, and that's the drive limit, that's not the cable limit. So you're maxing out the solid state drive, which is incredible. It's actually faster than my internal solid state drive. Now with the hard drive, you do get some pre-installed software. You also get a partition in there that is for Windows. You can set it up as Windows and Mac ready. I just have it all set up for Mac since I'm using it for Final Cut Pro 10. But you do get some encryption software that's capable of 256-bit encryption. So if you want to use it that way, you could as well. So it's pretty indestructible as far as a drive goes, no moving parts, and this rubber surround make it a pretty good portable drive, and I haven't had any issues with it so far. I really like it other than the very steep price, but it's really a nice drive and does exactly what I want it to extremely fast. So if you have any questions or comments regarding this drive, please place those in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.